Ladies and gentlemen, in our journey of faith, we are called to live lives of godliness. This means reflecting the character and nature of God. Everything that we do is not about being perfect, but about striving to be like Christ. Today, we're going to check out this powerful verse in 1 Timothy that reminds us of the importance of godliness in our daily lives. And it's in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. It says, Have nothing to do with godless myth and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourselves to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Hallelujah. So our godliness is not just about what we're going to be living here. It's about when we're going to live in eternity also. Amen. Because we live in a world filled with distraction and false teachings. We're called to remain steadfast in our pursuit of godliness. Just as athletes train their bodies to achieve excellence, we too must train ourselves to be godly. This requires discipline, commitment. And a deep desire to follow and know God's word. Godliness is not limited to our own spiritual lives alone. It's a lot bigger than that. It encompasses every aspect of our existence. It affects everything. How we treat others. How we, con how we conduct ourselves. You know, in our workplaces. How we handle challenges and temptations. <laughs> When we strive for godliness, we become the reflection of God's love and grace to those around us. Amen? Embracing godliness brings great blessing, not only to the present life, but also to the life to come. It is an eternal promise. Amen? And as we grow in our godliness, we experience a closer relationship with God. Amen? That's why I'm bringing this message to you today. Live godly lives because this is going to change your life. When you start living godly lives, you become more like Christ. And that's what God wants in each and every one of us. So this message is for you today. God bless you. Live godly lives.